You got to water your good seeds, not your weeds, okay? What seeds are you sowing? Are you sowing good seeds? Are you sowing weeds? That's the question. You got to ask yourself each and every day, constantly, what seeds are you planting today? What plants are you sowing? Am I sowing good seeds or am I sowing weeds? What thoughts are you believing? That's the question. What thoughts are you believing each and every day? It's all beliefs. This life is all about beliefs. Beliefs are everything, everything. Your beliefs, what you take in up here, you're going to see it in your external. Like I always say, your life is a reflection. What goes in here is going to come out here. That's why I say you got to make sure you know what seeds you're sowing. You got to. Always sow those good seeds. Remember, the truth, the truth. Follow your heart. Everything that you sow that's good, you'll feel good. If you're sowing weeds, you got to pay attention to your conscience. Pay attention to God, God our Heavenly Father. God our Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ will always let you know what the truth is. If it doesn't feel good, it ain't the truth. Don't sow what it's not true. Only so the truth. The truth will always make you free. Says that in the Bible. Jesus says that. So yeah, you got to know what seeds you're planting. Got to. Like I just said, when you become more conscious, when your spiritual eyes are open, you will easily be able to take the good seeds from the weeds. Because when you're conscious, when your eyes are open, when you have a spiritual awakening, you become connected to God, more connected than ever before. You're already connected to God. You are already tethered to God. You are, oh my gosh, you're a child of the Almighty. I keep saying this in every video. You are a child of the Almighty. You got God flowing through you. You got Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior flowing through you. God and Jesus is the invaluable gift and flows through you. The big question is, are you seeking the Heavenly Father? Are you seeking Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior? Because if you are, you're going to be more conscious. You're going to be awake. You're going to be able to see and feel the good seeds from those weeds. That's why I said when you become more conscious, when you become more connected with the Heavenly Father and Jesus, you're going to see those good seeds. You're going to feel those good seeds and you're going to feel those weeds and you don't want to touch those weeds, man. Don't even touch them. But if you're unconscious, you're not connected to the Father. You just take in all the 3D stuff. You're just soaking it up. Soaking it up. Oh man. Let me tell you what you're doing. You're sowing weeds not even knowing it. When you are unconscious, you're taking in so much that you can't tell which seeds you're sowing. You gotta be selective because this is your garden. Like I always say, this is your reality. You are the star of the show. You have all the power. All the power lies within. Everything that you see out here Oh my gosh, it's all within you. All within you. You have all the power. You got God. God has given you all the power. You are a child of the Almighty. You have everything. You got to be selective. First step is you got to seek the Father. Seeking the Father is everything. If you haven't seeked the Father, then you're not awake. Got to open that door to the Heavenly Father and Jesus. Jesus says, I'm knocking. I'm knocking. He says this in the Bible. He's knocking on your door. Jesus is knocking on your door. Jesus wants you to open that door up so he can dine with you and you with him. When you start dining with Jesus, and you start connecting with the Heavenly Father, oh my gosh, your life, your life, your life will become unbelievable. Magical. Magic. You will see magic each and every day. Every day I wake up, you know what I say? Thank you, God, my Heavenly Father, and Jesus for exceeding my expectations. <laughs> Thank you, God, and Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, for putting people on my path to touch them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God, and Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, for performing unbelievable healing miracles through me. That way, when I touch someone in the name of Jesus, every cell in their being heals and cures and regenerates and rejuvenates like that in the name of Jesus. You see what I'm saying? You got to sow those good seeds. In order to do that, you got to be connected to the Father and Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. It's all about God and Jesus. It's all about God and Jesus. Because you come from God and Jesus. We are all one. I keep saying this. We are all one. We're all connected. This is just your individual reality. And I'm just part of your subconscious telling you, hey, brother, hey, sister, I love you. Come on. Come on, guys, start waking up. Let's go. Let's go. We got great things to do. We got people to love, people to love, people to hug, and peace to give, baby. Peace to give. Healing to give. It's all about giving love. This world is all about love. Loving each other. Loving your brothers and your sisters. Because God is love. Jesus is love. Man, oh man. So yeah, when you sow those seeds, you got to water those good seeds. Don't ever water your weeds. Never water your weeds. When you become more conscious, when you start to see things clearly, and you see, oh my gosh, my garden. I got tons of weeds in my garden. Don't pull those weeds up. Don't do it. If you start pulling your weeds up, you're going to make those weeds get bigger and bigger and bigger. Because you know why? Because that means you're giving attention to them. Anything you give attention to grows. That is how powerful you are. So when you see those weeds in there, just leave them alone. Focus on those good seeds. Focus on sowing those good seeds. Don't focus on the weeds. If you don't focus on those weeds, they cannot grow. Eventually, they disappear to nothing. Because that is how powerful you are. It says in Galatians 6 through 8, for the one who sows to his own flesh will from the flesh reap corruption. But but the one who sows to the Spirit will from the Spirit reap eternal life. Oh, ho, ho. how powerful is that? Let me give you another one real quick. This is real short. Luke 8 through 11. Now the parable is this. The seed is the word of God. Woo! 
point is, guys, the first step in sowing good seeds is giving all your attention to God, our Heavenly Father, and Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Seek the Father. Seek Him. But if you are not seeking God, then you're not tapping into God. You're not tapping into the God in you. And if you're not tapping into the God in you, you can't do those great things that, that God made you to do. You see what I'm saying? Seek the Father. Seek Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. That's the Trippers way, y'all. That's the Trippers way. Y'all know the deal. It's all about that love, light, happiness, peace, joy, healing, forgiveness, gratitude, mercy, and wisdom. It's all about God and Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Come on. Y'all have a good one. God bless you. I love you.